So let's get into adding some charts to this second page that we've created here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a tree chart, which is one of our tree map, excuse me, which is one of my favorite types of charts. I really like how this plays out. It's pretty cool. It's nice to give it uh, a lot of space because when you spread it out, um, there's a lot, a, lot of, a lot going on here. So let's go ahead and um, so we have the... Um, metric is record count the dimension we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it at it as crime one but with this you can add multiple dimensions so let's go ahead and actually do this I guess will work okay cool so when we added in the city and then the crime name one as the um, dimension we can see now for Silver Spring and Gaithersburg and Rockville and Germantown and all these other different places we can see the top crimes in that area so Silver Spring it's crime against property is the high one uh, Gaithersburg as well and, and most of these are gonna match up right but then the interesting thing that we can do is we can add crime name 2 to this right here and then we can see the breakdown on another level of what the um, actual crime is within that. So I'm gonna actually take that right now because it kind of crowds out the chart. Um, but let's go into just, I wanna show you, how we can style this as like a heat map, right? So this is set up with a dimension of color. So I'm gonna actually take like the top color and that's gonna be blue, or that's gonna be red to blue, right? And uh, we're gonna make our mid value color just be like, uh, a yellow right for green now that that looks pretty good this looks kind of like heat right um, the text for uh, the labels that's not what we want to do that's the text for the uh, the labels on top um, no actually this works out fine right but we can see how this heat map is showing uh, how the higher uh, quantity Right here, the higher record count is highlighted over here where we can see that, you know, like Kensington, this area right here is, is very low on, uh, on overall, like its volume and everything else will be up here. This is what the higher states are right here, or not states, cities. So let's go ahead and we'll always show the header and we'll put that in. It's going to change that to white so it contrasts a little bit more so people see that button and just put that up here. So. That's good. Let's go see what other uh, charts we do. Actually, let's do this. Let's add in a pivot table with bars. This is a good one as well. This one has some of the uh, some of the similar th themes here too. So, all right. So we have uh, cities, right? And we have um, the crime name one, right? It's crime against property, crime against society, or other. Now we're going to take this one, and this one's going to be crime name two. I'm gonna take that down and then so we've got uh, a similar progression that we do on the tree map and you can see Silver Spring is at the top and we have um, our secondary breakdowns all other offenses or drug narcotics stuff for motor vehicle except for etc cetera, etc cetera. so let's kind of push this over so we can kind of read all of this um, thinking in terms of like what the customer is going to actually see and let's go to our style and let's mess around with this a little bit so our table labels I think those are going to be fine um, let's go ahead and hit show number so we can see the number inside there and then also let's use compact numbers which will turn it into 11.3k uh, as opposed to the whole 11,265 over here so we'll do that. We'll leave the background the same. And we will always show the header and make it white so you can see the contrast of the button there. And that's pretty cool. So let's see how it looks in view. Okay, cool. There we go. So this is something that we can scroll down. And we scroll left to right so we can go all the way over and we can see in Sandy Springs, the amount of liquor law violations in this data set is two. And theft from building is 11. So this is pretty cool, right? This is something that you can go and you can actually uh, just explore. And, and that's what we want, right? 
So, cool. So this is an additional um, breakdown. So right, we have the crime type overview one. We got the additional breakdown of the crime type overview two. So we went from a simple bar chart, a donut chart, a uh, tree map, and a pivot table so that we could see all that stuff right there. When you view it, this is how the output is gonna look right here. So that's our uh, crime type overview. So now we can see the types of crimes that are happening in this area. And we got some stats on those. So moving forward, we'll start spatially displaying the data.